Hi, it's Kimberly at The Property Man. I'm here today to show you this beautiful three bedroom semi-detached period home on Southern Road in Sale. So Southern Road is popular for a number of reasons. One being that it is literally a stone's throw away from Park Road Primary School, probably one of the most popular primary schools in Trafford. So as you can see here, we've got ample off-road parking to the front of the property and you can see we've got an integral garage there, which I will take you into because it's a fantastic size, about 22 foot in length. And I'm sure you will agree, one, we've got a fantastic day for it today, but also what a beautiful property. It definitely has that curb appeal. So let's head on inside. We have accommodation over four floors because we have cellars. And then we also have a loft room as well, which would make for a fantastic home working space. Let's head on inside. Just before we do, you can see this front door has got a gorgeous stained glass panels in here which does allow beautiful light to flood into our entrance hall so as we head into the entrance hall you can see we've got original floorboards in here we've got the cove into the ceiling so this property does host a number of original features which is brilliant as well as you can see those dado rails there as well so Southern Road, not only is it located for fantastic schooling, it is also not too far from Sale Town Centre. So you can walk into the centre from here. So you've got access to Metrolink. Also, the motorway networks are close by. Look at that stained glass. It's just beautiful, isn't it? So yes, you've got the Metrolinks, you've got the motorway networks, you've got the abundance of amenities that Sale Town Centre has to offer. We're not too far from Ashton on Mersey Village as well, so you've got that little village vibe if you're not quite ready to go into the town centre. It's really a fantastic, fantastic space. Wind's caught us, I'm just going to pop the, uh, the latch on. <laughs> there we go, okay. So let's head on into our first reception room. So here we have our living room which is a fantastic size and again with a property of this age you've got those fantastic height ceilings as you can see we've got um, some coving here as well and then we've got a recess with the exposed brick there which would be you know fantastic if you could get a log burning fire in there but again it's just a really nice feature on its own nice tall contemporary radiator and then we've got the bay window with the sash windows to the front there as well and we've got the original floorboards in here too so i'll give you a couple of different angles of the space there we go and then we will head into it's definitely my favorite room of the house but just before we do nice little archway there great space here for a cloak area so somewhere to kick your shoes off hang your coats up that isn't sort of directly as you come into uh, into the main entrance and then into my favorite room so this as we step down here is all solid bamboo flooring and then this space is amazing this is where you will spend probably all of your time it is the most perfect family space so we've got this area here isn't actually currently being used as anything but you know you could fit your dining and the dining table and chairs here or another little sofa or great for a play area if you've got children we've got that gorgeous exposed bit brick chimney breast there and we do actually have a log burner in here and then we've got those original cupboards fitted either side as well so great for storage but also a really nice feature and then i'll just spin around so you can see just how vast this space is so we've got our kitchen area so that is fitted with a range of base and eye level units and as you can see we've got space for freestanding appliances as well as, ha as having an integrated hob extractor oven and grill great run of work surface and then we've also got a little breakfast bar here as well and then this opens right the way round into again just this space which is so versatile that sofa there is huge and it's also got a big six-seater 
dining table and chairs in here and then again let's not remember we've still got this space here which is cu currently being unused so there's just so much space personally i think it's great as it's set out but also think dining table and chairs in this space and again you'd have even more living space so somewhere for the kids to run around it's just honestly so versatile such an amazing space Something that I haven't mentioned, we've got those windows going right the way across the back, right the way down the side. So we've got no lights on in here. It's, oh, sorry, that's a fib. We've got one light on there. <laughs> um, but other than that, we've got no lights on in here and it is super duper bright. We've got two skylights as well and it just lets so much light flood this space. And just give you a couple of different angles and a sneak peek of the garden, but I'm not taking you out there until just a little bit later on. Just give you a sneak peek. Boop, that's all you're getting for now. <laughs> so let's head on upstairs to have a look at our bedrooms and bathroom. In fact, no, before we go upstairs, we need to go downstairs. So let's head on down into the cellar. So again, this would be a great, again, a great work from home space. Great, again, if you've got kids, could be a playroom. It's super nice and cool down here as well, which is uh, which is lovely for a day like today where it's 20, uh, 27 degrees. So as you can see, really great space. Got plenty of storage in here. Um, again, it's just all the storage space, as you can see. And then on the other side, you've got like a little utility area as well. So washer washer and dryer down here which again is just great keeps the noise out of the the main kitchen area and then also again you could just have it as storage but it is it, just could be used as i say for anything and you've also got a wet room in here as well so fully tiled floor walls even the ceiling so again great space in here as well So now we've done two floors. Let's head up to the first floor. And then we also have the loft space as well. So just another quick, I love that same glass. Right the way up to our first floor. So I'll take you in bedroom one first of all. So that's located to the front of the property. Again, we've got that gorgeous exposed brick half chimney breast there with a mantle over, which is a really lovely feature. Nice big sash window to the front, allowing lots of natural light. Great size. Some quite big furniture pieces in here and there's still lots of floor space. So this would be a fantastic family home, would also be great for professional couples as well. If anybody wants to spend this kind of money on a buy-to-let investment as well with that schooling would make a cracking investment. So then we have bedroom two. <clears throat> Window to the rear overlooking the garden. Again, nice height ceilings, good size, good double. We've got a triple wardrobe in there and a big chest of drawers just to give you an idea on space. And then as you can see, we've got our stairs there, our paddle steps leading up to the loft room. So I will pause the video and meet you up there once I've had a look at the third bedroom and the bathroom. And then we have bedroom three. So again, I would say that's a three-quarter bed. It's definitely bigger than a single. Um, again, lovely height ceilings in here. Window to the rear. Original floorboards. Really good size. Larger than average third bedroom. And then we have our bathroom. So in here, tucked away here, we've got our wash hand basin. Bit of storage above there as well. You can never have too much storage. We've got heated towel rail. We've got WC. 
We've got, again, our sash window to the front and then our bath with shower over as well. There we go. So I am just going to pause you. I will meet you in the loft space. And then once we've had a look up there, we'll head out into the garden. Okay, so I'm up. There's the stairs. And look at this space. It's just brilliant. Again, we've got the uh, skylight there. So it does have a window up here. It's all wood flooring. It's a little step up there. It would make a great space if somebody's got older kids. Again, a work from home office. It's just a really, really fab additional living space. Loads of storage in the eaves as well. And again, you've got that exposed brick there as you do come up those stairs. Okay, so I'm going to head down. And then let's have a look at our garden and garage and that will conclude our tour of Southern Road. So back through my favourite space. Couldn't help but give you another quick, quick sneak peek before we head out into the garden. So the garden has a really lovely feel. We've got this paved patio area here as we step out. Used to have a pizza oven on that little bit there. So again, great if you wanted to entertain outside. It's not overlooked at all. Feels really, really private. I'm just going to take you around here into the garage and then I'll walk you to the back of the garden. Super sunny as well, it's gorgeous. So we've got double doors at the back here into our garage space. And as I said, this is a really, really fab size. You've got up and over door at the front. Uh, it has got obviously power and light in here, somewhere to hide the bins. So let me take you right the way to the end and then we'll spin you around. There you go. So great space. And also as well, you know, potentially if somebody subject to planning permission actually wants to extend and make your living space even bigger, then you could obviously, subject to planning permission, go out the side there as well. So let's just go again back to our beautiful garden. Walk you right the way to the end. We've got these really nice raised flower beds here, a bit of rhubarb, some berries. They did used to have chickens, which is what that is there, if anyone was wondering. But obviously that can come down as an extension of the garden. And then we've got this really nice sort of raised decked seating area here as well. Which is just fab. In fact, I might just take a pew just for a minute whilst I give you the number to ring and arrange a viewing, which is 0161. 519-8855, that's 0161, 519 or alternatively you can email us on sales at thepropertyman.co.uk, that's sales at thepropertyman.co.uk, thank you very much.